heavy. Bored. It is like, I talked about this, on, I've talked about it all the time, but like when you're putting out, a con, like a, when you're doing a creative thing, like it does like, and you're obsessed with it, like it does take something from you. Like it takes, like you're not the same person at the end of it kind of thing almost. Uh, and then when you're doing something like this, which is, you know, we don't want to speculate too much about his personal life and stuff like that, but like, you know, it's clearly confessional. So when you're doing something confessional and you're trying to make like a great work of art with it, like, I think it takes something like even more than like, cause not only are you being vulnerable with like the confessional aspect of it and everybody talks about Lowell and shit, but like, you know, what the fuck was Lowell confessing? You know, like, uh, uh, it, it, it's, yeah. Yeah. I feel like someone like Sexton did a better job of kind of putting it all out there on the line than Lowell and even Plath. Like I, I, I really like both of them, but like, you know, they get called confessional poets. I think that both of them are like relatively like cryptic and relatively poetic. So is Sexton, but I feel like Sexton did a better job of kind of just like, I don't know, vomiting it out there in a way and not hiding it behind poeticism and metaphor yeah. and Sykin, you know, Sykin like kind of says it how it is. It's still very poetic, but he's not hiding anything. It's not cryptic. It doesn't take, you know, a scholar of poetry to figure out what he's saying. And I like that about it. Like that. It's like, it's yeah. Like you can tell that he is like almost like ripping his heart out and putting it on the page. And it's interesting because I do think like, and not to get too much into my poetry that no one has ever read <laughs> to this, but like, you know, like when I, when I write poetry, that's like confessional or whatever, I can't write it until after the thing has passed. So like, I can write confessional poetry, but I can't write it when I'm in it. Cause when I read it, when I'm in it, it comes out like wrong. It comes out probably too emo, like emo in the bad way, emo, like an emo lyricist, like cute is what we aim for, Right. <laughs> yeah. it's, you know? Um, but if I write about it like years later, I can still remember the feeling, but like I have enough poetic distance to make it sound good. And I don't know when Sykin wrote this in relation to whatever was going on in his personal uh, life, if that, but that would be really interesting if he was able to write it during that moment. That's something that I envy because I definitely need the emotional distance to be able to write about something. Yeah. It's, uh, that's, I mean, the reason I brought it up anyway is because it's like when you're doing that too and you're confessing, so then like, you're vulnerable anyway when you're putting out something that you created. But then if it does have this kind of confessional aspect to it and it's something that you're going through even, you have that added. And I think that's why people take criticism on their art very personally too, because if it's a confessional piece and somebody's criticizing you, it's hard to not take that as like a personal criticism on your own like mental health and shit because you're like, right. fuck, I was writing this like whiny poem. But I think you're absolutely right. Like There's like a distance that's required. But I mean... I say, fuck it, write the first drafts, write the first drafts in the heat of the moment, like the passion of the moment. And then you can do the second draft, you know, you can clean it up later. Like it's not. I mean, the novel that I'm working on is based on my journals from when I was in college and like looking back on them, they're horrific. Like they're <laughs> terrible, like zero self-awareness. I was like a mess or whatever, but it's like, you know, 10 years on, you can kind of look at it and like make it sound good. But I'm glad that I had written it down at the time at least, because if I had tried to write about it 10 years later without any sort of reference point, that would have been difficult. So yeah, I agree. Write it down at the time, but it's not always going to be good when you <laughs> hear the words of it. <laughs> Absolutely. Fuck. Such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life. Bored. I, I aspire to boredom, Heavy. I should say. Bored. Heavy. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. Bored. Has you the night sweats and the day sweats, pal? Pal, I do.